scared. What is it? I'm scared work? for you. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Teacher Dad. So I recently got a 50 gallon fish aquarium and I've been working on a filtration system to try to help keep the water clean and I decided to try to work on an aquaponics unit. So something that filters the nitrates out of the water as well as allows the plants to grow. So here is the, uh, the setup that I have. Don't have any fish in my aquarium just yet because I am working on getting this system acclimated. So it should be about two weeks until I can get my fish ready to go here. I want to make sure my system is stable. So I uh, have some things, a, a few more things to set up inside here yet to, to complete the decor and so on. This is the, the actual aquaponics unit that I have created. So, first of all, when you're going to make a, a hydroponics system, um, you need a source for the water coming in. So I have a submersible pump in here, and it's recommended that you try to turn over the amount of water in your tank about five times per hour. So this is since this is a 50-gallon tank, my pump that I purchased has a different capacities. It's able to go anywhere from 150 gallons per hour up to 300 gallons per hour and the more that you filter the water through your tank the healthier your fish can be so what i have here is i used a, a window box and cut holes in the end here so that the water can drain back out into the tank i have a type of plant that grows in water, it's uh, called a golden pothos plant. Uh, I purchased this plant from Walmart for about $10 and I have plants not only in this aquarium filter but also in a small 10 gallon and also a 20 gallon tank that I have at home. So what I have done inside of the filter is I have a reusable washable filter. This would normally go into an air filter system. This is for catching the larger particles from fish waste and so on. So I have two of these, one on each end. They can be pulled out to allow for cleaning purposes. And what I chose to do for this particular system is I have the plants themselves sitting on two layers of this filter. This comes in, an, in a, uh, a sheet of about two foot by three foot and can be cut down to, to the, suit your needs. So I have the plants kind of sitting on top of that, two layers of this so that they're not all the way down submerged in the water. So now I'll walk you through the actual build process of the project. To start off with, I needed to attach the window box to the side of the tank. I did this by purchasing a window box mount. I did need to perform some modifications because this window box was designed to sit up against the side of the house and I didn't want there to be too much pressure on the glass of the side of the tank. The window box was designed with holes in the bottom so that if the soil becomes too saturated the excess water would drain out of the bottom. So I needed to seal off those holes to prevent water leaking out of the bottom of my filter. Next I needed to attach a pipe to allow the water to drain back into the tank. I cut a hole in the side of the window box and I inserted a plastic PVC I then cut a straight coupler in half 
so that I could use one on the inside of the window box and one on the outside. I added waterproof sealant inside and outside to prevent any leaks. I did a test run before installing the filtration on my tank just to make sure that there were no leaks. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll try to answer any questions you have. If you have any ideas for upcoming projects, you could also leave those in the comments as well. Until the next video, have a great one and I'll see you then.